Fantastic! Hello there, Master Hellish here, and welcome to today's vlog, which comes from the comfort of my computer chair in my dressing gown, having recently got up uh, from a very disruptive night. Uh, for those of you who uh, know the news, who saw Hellish News on my uh, gaming channel, we now have a little extra person to take care of and it's taking its toll. However, today I didn't really necessarily want to talk about that. I want to talk about the news from NASA about these seven Earth-sized planets which has been found round a star um, in a uh, solar system n not too far away. When I say not too far, I'm talking in galactic terms. So it is about 40 light years away, which isn't too bad, actually. Um, but the thing that well, there's two things with this. Firstly, I I find the actual news interesting in itself. Okay, so it's um, the, the the science behind the, how they find it and um, all the information that they know about them and the possibilities and the, the, the just the discovery. I love that, and I've been following it. And I haven't had a chance to watch it all yet. I was just watching bits between feeds, and. Um, yeah, that, that is really the main part of it, but I really kind of got sidetracked from that by looking at the comments, because I was watching um, an, uh, a recording of a live stream that NASA did. Um, I wasn't available at the time. I was going to watch the announcement live. I didn't, I didn't. I wasn't available. And the comments coming in on, on social media from people were just absolutely astonishing, hilarious, and ridiculous in so so many cases um it's really interesting to see what the average person thinks i mean the, when i say the average person i mean somebody a layman somebody who doesn't have technical knowledge of what nasa are doing exactly um and there seems to be a number of different categories of people and one of which is the uh, first of all the kind of person who um just doesn't understand why we're doing this. Money should be spent better elsewhere. This is an argument I often have with some people, um, and it very often comes down to two things. They either don't understand the advantages that come from it um, in our day-to-day -day lives. They just think, well, we'll go and have a look around, and if we can get somewhere, we'll put a flag down. They don't realise the in-depth science and understanding and the gains that we get from this sort of thing. Science um, from space and space exploration observations may produce or lead to the science of a clean and near-infinite energy source in the future. We don't know. Imagine what that would do for the planet Earth, which we are strangling and killing with our day-to-day -day lives right now. It would be a terrible relief for the planet and allow us to focus on other things. Just just one example of what could be, and, uh, and you can actually look on the NASA website of lists of, of the things that have come, lots of medical things that have come from doing this sort of thing. So um, I know there's advantages, but those people tend not to know of them, so I kind of discount that. But then there's the other people, like a lot of people on this thread with the comments just thought was like oh we can't take care of this planet let's let's not ruin another one or oh we we can't be satisfied with this one why do we want to conquer another and uh, it's quite interesting to see that leap between oh we found some planets and um let's go take them over type thing or let's go there at no point did NASA say that we wanted to colonise them in any of the live feeds that I saw or in any of the articles I've read so far. Now, it doesn't mean that they haven't said that. I just haven't seen it. I've had a look around, quick look around, couldn't find it. So there's a big leap here with people presuming that we want to go there and colonise it and or that we want to go there and um, you know, strip it of its resources or kill all the local life forms that are there. Um, it is ridiculous that that leap that people make, that jump, it's quite, I find it quite interesting um, as, a, as a point of thought. Um, 
so the, there's the people that just don't think we should be bothering there's the people that think that we just that NASA are, or wants to go over there and kill it or the human race wants to go over there and kill it which is possibly what <laughs> what we might need to do Na although NASA never said that and then another big one the, the, the th I only got three here to mention but the third one that I noticed was people who thought that it's just actual it's just stories it's just made up it's just rubbish because they don't believe anything NASA says, or they don't believe that certain things that NASA did actually happen. Things like the moon landing. You get people saying things like, "I would not trust NASA." Um, they said they said they sent a man to the moon in 1969. A couple of years ago, they have to work out how to get past the Van Allen belt, and there seems to be a serious lack of understanding and a lot of hearsay people hear about the Van Allen belt they hear about that it's dangerous for humans to pass through and they think well um, if NASA are trying to work out how to safely go through it it means that they never went through right well no you're making a very big assumption there um, just my thought on that is is that I mean I, I know that there's certain ways that you can pass through and you, you can go through in a way which means that you're going through it in a much shorter period of time uh, for those of you who don't know what it is check it out on Wikipedia or whatever but it's basically a dangerous area of radiation um, so um, yeah it's, it's interesting to see where people use a lot of hearsay a lot of assumptions and they don't really know a lot, but yet have a lot to say about it. This is the interesting thing as well. I don't mind if somebody doesn't know about something, and they, they come to me and they say, well, I don't know. Why? Why are we doing this? I don't understand. And you may explain a little bit of it, and they go, oh, right, okay, well, I think this. That's an interesting way to have a conversation, because you're going backwards and forwards with thoughts and ideas. But all the comments on this, and, and by the way, I, the, the main bulk of the comments that I was looking at was on a local news channel. There is a massive difference if you go to NASA's Facebook page and look at the comments on their post of the live feed. It's all people who have, obviously have an interest in NASA because they follow NASA. Um, and they have an interest in probably space and exploration and so forth. So... I'm thinking that there's a big difference, and it's you can see the difference. There's people that are asking questions, but they're obviously they're not just dismissing things and making assumptions. They're thinking about things. You can see that there's a thought process going on with the comments. Maybe they don't understand something, they ask, and that is a massive difference between where I got my comments from, which was on a um, a national, I think it's national news website that posted the link so the national news post uh, the link and then all the comments came in there um, as this news operates in the UK and I don't think it operates anywhere else um, then uh, I'm presuming that, that most of these comments came from the UK um, although there is also a, a spattering and if I'm gonna, so you got those three that I've talked about that's the four fingers because the fourth thing I noticed was there's a lot of things about the US in there the USA. People saying things like, oh, what's the news? Did NASA find intelligent life in America? Or things like that. Um, are we in contact with aliens and stuff like that? Uh, it is quite interesting. Um, but yeah. How many years ago? Oh, I can't read that one. <laughs> yes, but there are examples of that as well. Um, so yeah, it's, it's, it, I just wanted to, to share my thoughts with you on that and keep it I kind of interesting to see people's reactions to the news. My personal reaction is it's really interesting to see these planets out there in the solar systems that are around us. Um, obviously we're not seeing them, but we, we're finding out about them. And the more we can learn about other solar systems, the way our universe works and our galaxies, then the more better we understand the fundamental sciences and we can then progress even further. I think it's brilliant. I do find it interesting though that at the moment, to my knowledge from the articles I've read, it looks like that our solar system is quite unique and that most solar systems that um, have been documented that I've read about either have a, fine, a very nice spread of sized planets or they have larger planets towards the middle and then go in the middle of the solar system where the star is and then get smaller as they go out where our solar system seems to be quite different in that in that we have small planets near the middle they get bigger and then they get smaller again so, which is a bit strange um 
maybe our solar system is quite unique and maybe that's why we have life here in the first place but that's possibly a, uh, a another vlog for another time i hope you enjoyed today's vlog i'm going to try and fit as many of these in as possible and try and keep them around 10 minutes or so but this is the first time i'm doing one on my new phone so this, which is why i keep looking here if i'm looking here i'm checking myself and the time um so let me know what you think of the visual quality not my face because it's very tired um, and the microphone quality as well leave a comment on them if you can and also any other thoughts ideas and questions on the topic that you um that you want to leave and also leave suggestions about things that you want me to talk about because i will be happy to discuss them well that's all from me for now oh and while i've got you guys a big thank you for all your congratulations on our new arrival um check out hellish news on my gaming channel uh, for more information about that sort of thing but thank you very much for watching take care and for now goodbye <laughs>